Glad you can join us. Your evening edition starts right now. Gary Archibald with Nicole Karkic. For some of you, it was not so pleasant a weekend. We had Ophelia to deal with in the east, and of course, steady rains across the Great Lakes. The prairie's not so bad, and BC's looking at some rains. We have the complete picture coming up. What about that Atlantic story, Nicole? You know what, Gary? There's a chance of seeing another round of rain into uh, tomorrow, so we'll talk about that, Gary. That's when I'll go for the long walk in through areas to check out the leaves. Check out your local forecast now. A look at the rainfall totals from Ophelia. Notice that some areas picked up about uh, 27 towards Gander, but some regions picking up close to 64 millimeters of rain. So it was a hefty amount. Wind gusts were over 100 kilometers an hour at times, but a separate system brought us quite a bit of rain in through the maritime provinces over the weekend. Halifax, you saw over 50 millimeters. Now another round of precipitation is moving through. Newfoundland quite calm through the overnight and into Tuesday. You're staying fairly dry, but all the moisture is moving in through the maritime provinces, parts of southern Quebec too, and it lingers on into Wednesday too. It's going to be a cold, raw rain, and so cold, in fact, that on Wednesday we could start to see some wet snow flurries in through the Gaspé Peninsula and northern New Brunswick as well. But a look at the amounts that we could potentially get into Wednesday. Notice here in towards Charlottetown, over 75 millimeters is possible there. Tuesday into Wednesday for Newfoundland through the Avalon looks to be about 15 to 30 millimeters of rain. And a look back at uh, the post-tropical storm Ophelia that moved through and now it's moving offshore, of course, moves out of the area and it's still bringing some active weather of course, out in sea. But what it did bring for us was wave heights that were offshore that were about 22 meters in height. Back to Gary with more on our stories in Ontario. Rains moving out of southern Ontario, but Ottawa, Montreal, chance of showers for the morning commute for your Tuesday. We're going to start to see some seasonal temperatures across southern Ontario. Northern Ontario staying clear and even a little bit warmer for you there. Toronto, 18 degrees. Kingston, 15 with that rain. But in Thunder Bay, 21 degrees with lots of sunshine. We have a wind warning on the south coast of B.C. For Tuesday, we have a hefty amount of rain moving into the maritime provinces. It's clearing out towards Toronto, down towards Windsor, but Ottawa, Montreal, a little extra time on the roads for the morning commute. Warm conditions here in the prairies. We're seeing showers in through southern B.C. and for Wednesday, still unsettled there in B.C. and a slight chance of showers in Calgary and Edmonton. Very warm here, feeling like 30 in Winnipeg when you factor in the humidex, but we can contrast that with the chance of seeing some rain-snow mixing in through the Gaspé Peninsula and northern New Brunswick as well. But still nice here and through southern Ontario. We're seeing seasonal temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday too, and windy and wet in through Newfoundland land still. Cooler conditions here in through Alberta. Calgary, your high looks to be about 11 degrees. A nice break there in through BC. We're seeing a chance of su sunshine in through Vancouver and Victoria. And as far as Friday goes, heading into Thanksgiving weekend, we'll see breezy conditions in through southern Manitoba. Chance of rain in southern Alberta. Warmer temperatures here heading into a nice weekend in southern Ontario and fair in Atlantic Canada. What's happening right now? Well, we're counting down to your local forecasts. They start in less than 50 seconds from right now. And then stay tuned because I'll talk about the active weather stories across the country right after that. But a quick peek here across the country. Halifax, unsettled conditions really across the Maritimes for Tuesday and Wednesday. St. John's, you'll see it by Wednesday. Montreal, a rainy commute. Ottawa, same story for you. Coolish temperatures into the afternoon and by Thursday. Still below seasonal at 13 degrees, but will be above seasonal as the week goes on and through most of southern Ontario with sunshine and dry weather and really nice in your extended long-range forecast into the long weekend. Across the prairies, temperatures still above seasonal. Some of the hot spots across the country, I'm sure, will be centered in through Winnipeg and Saskatoon as the week goes on. 27 on Thursday, feeling closer to about 30 humidex values. How about that for our October. Vancouver rain this week and seasonal temperatures. Now Drew Snyder is from TransLink and he tells us how they are supporting this week's iWalk and we'll hear from him right now. It's a great initiative. Uh, in terms of weather this week in southern BC, we are going to see unsettled conditions for Tuesday and Wednesday. It looks a lot better uh, at the end of the week, however. In southern Ontario, it started off unsettled, but it is clearing out through the overnight hours. Ottawa, Montreal expect a, a slower commute tomorrow morning, just some drizzle and showers on the road. It clears out, though, by Wednesday. Sunshine across Ontario and most of southern Quebec and towards BC. It has been windy. Along the central coast, we still have a wind warning in 
place. This is gusts between 90 to 100 kilometers an hour. And on the east coast earlier this morning, it was Hurricane Ophelia, which made landfall as a post-tropical storm at 9.30 a.m. local time. Peak waves were offshore, but their height was 22 meters. In terms of rainfall, we saw between 20 to 60 millimeters in some parts. And this was in through Newfoundland, and wind gusts reached close to 100 kilometers an hour. Another pulse of moisture will move through. That's going to bring us rain in through the Maritime Provinces. Notice Charlottetown, you could see 60 to 75 millimeters. And it will be so cold Wednesday morning. In through the Gaspé Peninsula, northern New Brunswick, we could see some wet snow flurries. And for Newfoundland, the rain will begin Tuesday into your Wednesday. With all this active weather coming, if you want to report to our storm line, please call us. Tom, details are on the first page. Stay tuned. A look back at these totals here of what uh, Ophelia brought as a post-tropical storm. St. John's, you picked up 27 millimeters, but other regions picked up quite a bit more. Now, Newfoundland, we are looking at clear conditions through the overnight fairly quiet, but another system is moving through. It will start to impact southern Quebec in the Maritimes first, bringing a hefty amount of precipitation for some of us, particularly in through areas around Charlottetown and Moncton, too. And then it moves in through Newfoundland by Wednesday. You'll be wet and very windy as well. So we'll look at the projected rainfall totals into Wednesday in through the Maritimes in Quebec. And as for Newfoundland, a look at your totals here. And a look back at Ophelia. It was a post-tropical storm when it made landfall at about 9.30 a.m. local time. Peak wave heights were offshore. They were about 22 meters. Back to Gary with more stories in Ontario. Nicole. Thanks, Gary. Well, we are seeing an improvement if you like dry weather and sunshine in southern Ontario. But Ottawa, you're going to have to wait until Wednesday. There is a chance of seeing showers tomorrow morning and afternoon. It will clear up by the evening. Montreal, you're in the same story there. But Wednesday, look, very clear across Ontario and Quebec, too. And temperatures... Yes, they are on the rise. Toronto, 18 degrees. That's a lot more seasonal. Over the weekend, it was freezing. Winds are 20 degrees and towards northwestern Ontario, even warmer. Thunder Bay, 21 degrees, and it looks like sunshine all day. Along the west coast of B.C., we still have a wind warning in place. This is along the central coast where gusts are between 90 to 100 kilometers an hour. And it looks like for this week, for I walk in B.C., southern B.C. is seeing some precipitation, rain moving in through the interior. In Calgary and Edmonton, chance of showers for your Tuesday. It moves to northern Saskatchewan on Wednesday. For Tuesday, we have a hefty amount of rain moving into the Maritime Provinces. It's clearing out towards Toronto, down towards Windsor, but Ottawa, Montreal, a little extra time on the roads for the morning commute. Warm conditions here in the prairies. We're seeing showers in through southern B.C. And for Wednesday, still unsettled there in B.C. And a slight chance of showers in Calgary and Edmonton. Very warm here. Feeling like 30 in Winnipeg when you factor in the humid X. But we can contrast that with the chance of seeing some rain-snow mixing in through the Gaspé Peninsula and northern New Brunswick as well. But still nice here and through southern Ontario. We're seeing seasonal temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday too. And windy and wet in through Newfoundland land still. Cooler conditions here in through Alberta, Calgary, your high looks to be about 11 degrees. A nice break there in through BC. We're seeing a chance of sun sunshine in through Vancouver and Victoria. And as far as Friday goes, heading into Thanksgiving weekend, we'll see breezy conditions in through southern Manitoba, chance of rain in southern Alberta, warmer temperatures here heading into a nice weekend in southern Ontario, and fair in Atlantic Canada. Traveling through southern Ontario today, there was some rain, drizzle at times. Temperatures were below seasonal, but through the overnight hours, we are seeing a clearing trend, particularly in southern Ontario, but traveling towards Kingston, Brockville, Ottawa, Montreal. Tuesday morning and afternoon, it looks like you could see some showers, but then you clear out as well. So check this out. Very quiet conditions. We'll see sunshine and much warmer temperatures that'll be close to seasonal as the week goes on. We still have a wind warning in place along the central coast of BC, gusts between 90 to 100 kilometers an hour at times, but these will start to die down through the overnight hours. And today in Atlantic Canada, it was Hurricane Ophelia that made landfall as a post-tropical storm. 9.30 a.m. local time, peak wave heights were 22 meters. They were offshore. That was certainly the good news. In terms of the rainfall, it was between 20 to 60 millimeters, and the winds were close to 100 kilometers an hour. And it moved through quite quickly. That was the good news. But we have another round of precipitation pushing through the overnight hours through parts of Quebec and eventually the Maritimes. Notice here towards Moncton, Charlottetown, we could be seeing 
quite a bit of rain, maybe even close to 75 millimeters for some of us into your Wednesday. And it will be really cold on Wednesday, the early morning hours that for the Gas Bay Peninsula and parts of northern New Brunswick, you could actually see some wet snow flurries. Tuesday into Wednesday, Newfoundland, you'll see the rain mainly Tuesday evening into your Wednesday morning. St. John's picking up close to 15 to 30 millimeters. Now with the active weather moving through parts of Atlantic Canada, if you see anything and want to call our storm line, please do. It's a if you're just joining us, we're looking at the nice clearing trend in Ontario. Southern Ontario, we'll see it first. Through northern Ontario, we're seeing sunshine. In Ottawa, Montreal, chance of showers. So for Tuesday morning, give yourself a little extra time on the roads. It does clear out, though, by the evening. And for Wednesday, look at this across the board. Very quiet conditions, and quiet in a good way. Temperatures are on the rise each and every day, and we're really looking quite seasonal. And we're seeing a lot of sunshine, too, in your long-range forecast across southern Ontario. Toronto, 18 degrees. Kingston, you're seeing the rain. And towards the north, I mean, check this out. Thunder Bay, 21 degrees, even warmer in Dryden at 23. Back to Gary with more details on stories in the west. Well, you know, what, Gary, we still have a wind warning in place along the central coast, gusts between 90 to 100 kilometers an hour. And this week in BC, there's the iWalk program. So it's an initiative to get people to uh, walk to school, walk to work, and it's a, a green initiative at that. Weather wise, will it cooperate? Will you want to maybe get inside the cars? Instead of going for a walk, well, you can always ride public transportation, but you're going to need your umbrella overnight into tomorrow. It looks it's unsettled in through southern BC. The interior will also see some showers. It does clear out in the interior for Wednesday. Then this system moves in through northern Saskatchewan for Wednesday morning. But it is unsettled in through southern BC for Wednesday and Thursday. A little bit of cloud cover. Temperature wise, seasonal at 15 in through Vancouver for your Tuesday. As far as Calgary goes, 14 degrees with that slight chance of showers, greater chance of showers in through Edmonton, you'll get up to 13 degrees there. Stay tuned for your long-range forecast now. For Tuesday, we have a hefty amount of rain moving into the maritime provinces. It's clearing out towards Toronto, down towards Windsor, but Ottawa, Montreal, a little extra time on the roads for the morning commute. Warm conditions here in the prairies. We're seeing showers in through southern BC, and for Wednesday, still unsettled there in BC, and a slight chance of showers in Calgary and Edmonton. Very warm here, feeling like 30 in Winnipeg when you factor in the Humidex, but we can contrast that with the chance of seeing some rain-snow mixing in through the Gas Bay Peninsula and northern New Brunswick as well. But still nice here and through southern Ontario we're seeing seasonal temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday too and windy and wet in through Newfoundland still. Cooler conditions here and through Alberta, Calgary, your high looks to be about 11 degrees. A nice break there in through BC. We're seeing a chance of sun sunshine in through Vancouver and Victoria. And as far as Friday goes, heading into Thanksgiving weekend, we'll see breezy conditions in through southern Manitoba, chance of rain in southern Alberta, warmer temperatures here heading into a nice weekend in southern Ontario, and fair in Atlantic Canada.